you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got a little TYS in the studio. What's popping? How you doing, bro? What's going on, man? You feel me? We out here chilling with the Innovator, man. TYS, we locked in. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you here. I appreciate you coming through today for sure. Yeah, appreciate you having me here, bro. Just to start off, uh, let the people know where you're from, where they can find you on social media. Feel me? Catch me on Instagram, lul.tys. You got all, almost all the music on there. We got a whole album dropping this Friday. You feel me? From Sacramento, California, Northgate to be exact. Yeah. But uh, uh, go, go, go f with the tys music, man. We're gonna have you bumping. Nah, facts. Nah, you you definitely going up right now. How, how do you feel? That's crazy. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never thought I'd be seeing myself go up like this. For real. Like, for you really going up <laughs> nah you for sure going up what, what when you when you started rapping you you, you didn't think you was gonna pop hell nah I ain't gonna <laughs> lie cause it's just like everybody up in Sacramento wanna rap everybody in Sacramento wanna rap so it's like why was it gonna be me to blow up but yeah. shit we blew up nah I feel like you know it's, like you said a lot of people do wanna rap but like Every, like every 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 so often you get you get those like couple few people who pop and bubble oh, and you, you definitely one of them dudes and uh shit I, I remember when I first I heard you I was like oh this I was like he going crazy this is hella hard and I had tapped in with you you feel me it was it was, we was really supposed to do this a while ago but yeah, we shit was going on you feel me <laughs> but uh I, I, I'm super happy that we was finally able to get it done uh today um as far as like your uh, you growing up, uh, was your parents around? Like, what was that like? That that I'm not gonna say sit here and make it seem like my my parents never did nothing. But me growing up with my parents, that was that was a hard thing. Me and my parents never seen eye to eye. We we always seen two different sides to everything. Yeah. Uh, Pops was always doing his own thing, tweaking. Mom's was doing her best to try and raise me herself, but it, yeah. she just wasn't around like that. Do you feel me? Yeah. Really, really know what's going on. I always ended up falling out, going, leaving out the house and shit, going to hang out with who I wanted. So yeah, yeah, pops, yeah. As far as pops and mom go, I I don't really got no relationship with them right now, but I still love them. They they always mom and dad. Yeah. Do Do you feel like the stuff that you went through, like I guess. As a, as a kid and growing up, you feel like that affected you a lot? Like, yeah, majorly, for surely. Um, I mean, I feel like that's that's everybody. Like, if, if you got that, I'm not going to sit here and say, if you got it perfect, then you're going to end up perfect. But if you yeah. if you got that perfect household, I mean, it's a lot better chance that you are going to end up growing up, too, you feel me? Yeah. Not, not have many problems or not have no problems with your family. Yeah. No, I and I feel like that's the reason why I always start off with my interviews asking people how they grew up because, I mean, you'll see that like that it doesn't really not say it don't matter, but everybody be in different situations. But like all of y'all are here, you feel me? All of y'all are innovators, yeah. you feel me? But um, I feel like it's not it's not what the situation you're born into is what you make out of it, you feel me? Yeah. And uh, you, you make you make it some out of it, so. I gotta commend you for it. What was it like growing up in? You said Northgate. Uh, what was it like growing up there? So growing, up, um, my my family and me were originally from Northgate. Uh, I I moved to Natomas, which is literally two minutes away. A yeah. Everybody gonna say Natomas not Northgate. You feel me? North Natomas really not Northgate. I'm not gonna lie, but South yeah. Natomas is really right next to Northgate. Like yeah. all that shit. A everybody grew up with each other around the same thing. But growing up in Northgate, that shit. It's crazy. Yeah. Growing up in South Natomas, that that was it's two different things. But you feel me? Growing up in Northgate was crazy. Once we moved to Natomas, it, it it mellowed down a little bit. Like I said, it's right there, so that yeah. shit was still popping off the whole time and everything. And Natomas, like, is where, where is that in regard? Like that's that's sack or that's not gonna out. It's literally right next to Northgate. Yeah. You feel me? You even got some stores on Northgate called Natomas. You yeah. feel me? You got some stores on Natomas that's uh, literally just. Mark that the Northgate. The people try to ever make it seem like the Thomas is it sack? Oh my mama, people are always trying to make it seem like the Thomas soft as fuck. That's everybody got their own personal opinions, but if you really check this, check the stats, but people die in the Thomas left and right. Yeah. Shit really get popping in the Thomas because yeah. everybody moved to the Thomas. 
You literally got people from everywhere from Sacramento. Like, that's just where. Yeah, it's so it's like all the people from all different areas yeah, moving just, into one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like y'all got a, like a lot of beef? Like, do you feel that way? Mm, I mean, personally, I'm the main topic, man. <laughs> I, I know people hate me, man. But nah, I don't. I'm not gonna talk about the beef and stuff. But yeah, that, yeah, it's it's a lot of people don't like me. I know that. How does that feel? Do you, do you do you do you feel? Do you do you? I guess you like. Are you the main topic? Yeah, like, I have to say, I don't do you, give a fuck if people don't like me. I love yeah, that shit. You feel yeah. me? And if I if I am doing something to a point where I got you and your feelings enough to where you feel like you have a problem towards me, yeah, then I'm doing something. Like that. I nah, love that shit. Nah, for sure. I be telling people all the time. I be like, people be saying the, some of the most craziest shit to me on the internet. I be like, bro. Man. <laughs> it's the internet, <laughs> bro. Like you won't say that to me in well, the public. That's what I'm saying, like, I still be everywhere in Sacramento too. Like it's not like I'm hiding out now that I got all this same So yeah, it's it's nothing. Like everybody wants to speak, but I'm still around. But I'm still everywhere. Yeah, literally. Would you say that? Uh, had there had, uh, has there been another rapper from where you're from that that pop like that? From Northgate or from yeah, Sacramento? From Northgate. Man, shout out PQ, man. 3300 PQ. Shout out Gabe from the land, too, man. Them niggas going up for sure. Shout out Lil Ball, too. Lil 33 Ball, man. Yeah. All, all them from Northgate going up. The whole hood going to go up. I yeah. promise you. Y'all yeah. going to see Northgate on top in 2022. Yeah. Nah, I, I fuck with that. Uh, do you feel that NorCal, like, as far as NorCal, that, like, Sac and, like, Stockton, like, y'all the hottest right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Second Stockton most definitely like oh second Stockton really going crazy right now. Yeah. I, I think it's kinda crazy, but like I always tell people like shit be changing. Like like I feel like the Bay Area was like the, the big brother. Like niggas would say the Bay been carrying NorCal for years, but like now we starting it can it can definitely be argued that I, I was going to be argued. It can be argued that, <laughs> that y'all are more hot than than like the Bay Area right now, which is kind of crazy. But y'all got a wave right now. Like you oh, gotta I'm you a... gotta respect it for sure. Like that it's kind of crazy to see it, but I love it though. I feel like what y'all doing is it, it, is hella dope. As far as like gangbanging, do you gangbang? Nah. <laughs> no, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> <All right. yet. laughs> uh, on your IG, you have on there hardest uh, Guerrero. Is that the right way to pronounce it? Or I don't know if I'm it's fucking the, up. Uh, the hardest Guerrero. Uh, you feel me? That that just means like the hardest white, the white skinned boy, like oh, okay. um, the white Mexican. You feel me? That's that's like a, a the nickname. Like the for, white boy. Uh, okay, I got you. I didn't know what it meant. I was I'm gonna ask you for oh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean we, we the hardest Guerrero, man. Stop playing with us. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> How do you feel about your respect as an artist in Sacramento right now? Uh, I say it's fifty fifty. I get some respect from some people. I get I get no respect from other people. Yeah. In my city though, it's like shit. Like it's it's hell of beef going on. I nah, said I'm sure. not gonna talk about the beef, but yeah. like it's hell of beef going on in my city. So it's hard to get respect out there. Yeah. So I'm really not tripping. Do you feel like the beef kind of fuck it up in a sense? Uh, honestly, the beef made me who I am today. If it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for me doing all that weird ass shit, you feel me, in the past that everybody mad about, regardless of who hated, right? It, it would not make me who I am today. Like, yeah. it's just, um, it was me. You feel me? Yeah. All all that in the past stuff, all that uh. Man, yeah, like, I don't want to talk about it because, like I said, I don't want to talk about none of the gang stuff on here. But yeah. it, it just made me who I am today. Like suckers posting it, suckers mad, all that. Like yeah. it just made me who I am. Yeah, nah, not real shit. I just know, like, it's, like Sack. I feel like it's just like it's it's a lot of politics for sure. Do hell, you do you hell. feel like the views would go up or down if it, if the politics wasn't involved? Yeah, I feel like that's that's the way with anything though. Like. If you're a game, yeah, 
Period. If you a gang member, you feel me? You gonna have that gang that you're representing, yeah. whether it's Crips, Bloods, Norte's. Uh, you feel me? You gonna have that gang rep- representing it. Not even gonna say representing it, but you gonna have a lot of people from that gang that's fucking with it because you're putting on for it. Yeah. So you feel me? As as far as the Norte's go, not saying I'm a Norte, but as far as the Norte's go, that's that's a big fucking community. That's yeah. a group right there. That's nah, for sure. like. You feel me? One and a, a lot of homies have love for each other. Like it's a it's a respect for them. So uh, everybody supporting each other. All the homies are supporting each other. So yeah. yeah, if if it wasn't no gang anything involved, then the yeah. numbers for Shirley would be down. Yeah. Do you ever feel blackballed? What you mean? Like like people are are going against you. Like getting your name out there and getting into the industry and oh yeah for surely people use my name for cloud all the time like <laughs> you know, all the time not gonna say no names but bitches love to do that yeah like you feel me niggas love to do that shit too it's weird and I realized that shit when I was barely coming up like damn this is really what people starting to do like that's when I really started to know I was popping like people really use people's names for cloud and entertainment when they see them going up they just gonna mention them so they can just start some yeah. Nah, nah, facts. Uh, do you feel people ever get mad at you for saying nigga or nah? Yes, that's, that's, that's what I was trying to get at with the white and the Mexican shit and me saying what I want to say. Everybody get mad at me. Nah, I'm not going to say everybody, but you feel me? When I was younger with my brother right here, bro, yeah. we, we used to have problems over that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. everybody going to have a problem with it till they really find out who I am, till they really get to understand where I came from, what I've yeah. been through and all that. Like, it's yeah. not just me saying nigga. Like, I'm not just saying that to say it. Like, yeah. you got hella people that do that, but I'm not one of those people to do yeah. that. I really use a meaning to it. Like, that shit yeah. really means something when I say it. Like, yeah. it's just not not what people think. Yeah, no, nah, not nah, for sure. I think, um, I feel like, I, to me, I would just say it's based on your environment. It, it do be people that grew around hella black people, and it's like, bro, like, when, when it, there, that's what it is. Like it just don't <laughs> don't like it's not looked at no type of way. It's not like you like uh, a racist dude saying it. Like Man. you feel me? You feel me? I feel like it just to me. I would say it's case by case basis. But like you, I mean, you do see people that aren't technically black saying it, and there's no issue. So I don't know why people would go to the extra st- extent to make it an issue that you saying it, especially if they don't know who you grew up around and none of them. You feel me? Nah, I, I feel you uh, for sure on that. Um, as far as like uh, rapping, like, is, uh, did you just start making music like last year? Or, nah, like, I've been, how long have you been making music for? I've been trying to make music since I was a little kid. Like literally a little kid. I just really started making hits this year and really started dropping music this year. But yeah. As a kid, I always said I wanted to be the next uh, Eminem. For real. <laughs> you know like, that was the inspiration right there. Eminem was the hardest white rapper, but yeah. that was my inspiration. So. Yeah. And we, we damn near getting there. I'm not going to ever say I'm as big as Eminem right now, but you yeah. feel me? We for surely working there. Like, yeah. Now we you, get it somewhere. You you got bars. You got a, you got a dope-ass <laughs> flow, too. Like, So before, like when you were starting out trying to make music back in the day, you didn't put none of it out or what? Or mm. we can find or it's out or what? Nah, I didn't. I had one song out. Um, I say about two years ago, maybe maybe three years ago. Uh, deleted. Uh, made a video on everything. Deleted the video though due to politics and uh, other things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, w- that that song went up too. I'm not gonna lie. I had like twenty thousand when I deleted it. You feel me? It was my first song I ever dropped. Yeah. Not no no pay promotions, no none of that. You yeah. feel me? I was doing those numbers on my channel like I am like right now. Yeah. So yeah, it was going up. Yeah. I I always think it's, it's kind of crazy to me how like people drop a song, their first song, and it get hella views because that's like not normal at all. Yeah. Like the average person releases a song, they're lucky if Man. they get like a hundred. <laughs> but to even get twenty thousand on your first song, you kind of knew you had some. What was kind of fucking you up from like being consistent with it at that time? Money. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This this music stuff. You need money. For sure. You need money it's to invest in it. Sure. Yeah, it's not cheap at all. You feel me? Videos eight hundred. Like five hundred to eight hundred, you feel me? Studio time twenty five to fifty an hour. Yeah, for sure. Like that shit adds up. You feel me? You gotta keep doing that shit. And at the time, I wasn't in no place to you feel me. Be spending eight hundred, 
spending consistently 800 on a video because yeah you got to yeah. be consistent with this shit too you just can't do it once in a while yeah so yeah i didn't have the money at the time to keep doing it consistently but i've yeah. always had the music and the talent half of this music half of the music i make now all this shit for real i swear to god it's from in the vault from years ago and for i'm real. just bringing yeah. it back <laughs> out and just making it again like yeah Feel me? That's tight. So shit, I, well, you, the new shit go 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 be even better. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come up with your name? Uh, T Y S. Yeah. Me. I mean, I think I think I know what it means, but you, I will let you. Yeah, break it down. So you feeling T Y S stand for take your shit? Um, it it was a uh, it was, you feel me? It was a game we had a little uh, little game we had going on. Yeah. Feel me? Me and my brothers, we started that shit. Uh, real TYS band bros, you feel me? Yeah. Shout out my brothers who still push that shit. Uh, yeah. but yeah, it just it turned into my name because I I moved from where I was originally from, uh, freshman year to a different high school, and when yeah. when everybody when I moved over there, everybody just started calling me by my Instagram name, little TYS. Yeah. Like, feel me, little TYS. They never called me by my real name. Yeah, and it just kind of picked up. And then everybody asked me the same thing over there too. Like after a couple months of calling me, I was like, "Take your shit." And then yeah, just picked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you. Um, are you have any management right now? You signed? Like, what's your situation? I'm not signed or none of that. I'm independent. I'm. I want to keep this shit independently too. You do? Yeah. You don't want to. You don't. Would you? You wouldn't sign like a a distribution deal or anything. Nah, I see you feel me. I got distribution right now, uh, through uh GT Digital. You feel me? Shout yeah. out to them. Yeah. Uh, they doing their thing for me, and it, it's like it's without a deal. So yeah. I, I'm not gonna sign nothing to you feel me. Sign my rights away. I don't like signing. Yeah. Uh, I don't like deals either. Yeah. And like most of the time when an artist sign, it's like a front pretty yeah, much. Yeah, for sure. Like you got you got to pay it back. So it's like I don't I don't want no front. I don't need no front. I'm good. How much do you think the the streets should be involved in music? I honestly don't even know how to answer that. Like, <laughs> you feel like they go head to head? Like, you feel like... Like the streets and music? Yeah. I feel like they need to both stay away from each other, like, completely. Because you got people who just snitching in the streets and they're still trying to rap. Like, yeah. that's not okay. Like, you just... that If you want to be a music person, you feel me? Be a music person. Stay out. You feel me? Yeah. It, depending on your lifestyle, stay out the streets if you're yeah. not really about it. Like, don't try and make it seem like you is just for this music. Yeah. But, like, yeah, them, I feel like that those two need to stay away from each other. I just feel like even... even well, I mean, even now, you see, like... With, like I guess with interviews with Instagram, I mean you seen the the Pooh Shaxi situation. The fans talk about they seeing the matching bills on Instagram. Man. You got the Casanova situation where they saying the fans is taking shit for that he said in the interview, and and now they they kind of use that to pin him like in his case. But it's just like definitely you. All I say when I say it's too mixed, I'm like. You gotta know what to, how to separate the two. You feel me? Like Literally. you don't want to say too much. That's why it would go back to what I asked you the gang banging question. You like shit. I ain't kind of speak on that right now. So boom, <laughs> we can move on. But I respect the motherfucker who do that before I will respect the dude who talk too much. Now he in a real situation. I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm just asking questions. Man, you don't gotta. You feel me? Do do what's best for you and keep yourself in mind. At the end of the day, before you feel like. I, I need to say yeah. this because I know maybe niggas want to hear me say this, but it's like, nah, protect yourself. Then. Literally. You feel me? That, that's what I would think. Um, how would you say jail affected you? Uh, Jail, county jail, or keeper. Either both. Yeah, ju juvenile hall affected me, hella. Uh, not not for this music career or anything. So if that's what you're talking about, like for the music, how it affected the music, then juvenile all didn't really affect it in any way. Um, this uh, main jail though, you feel me? When I went to jail, it wasn't really nothing. I, I got I called a couple people and when I was in there, I heard people, you feel me? Yeah, I heard hella shit when I was in there, but it, it was whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, going to jail affects a lot. In it, what ways? And it could hold you back, and it could also, you feel me, expand you. Like, when you go to jail, people going to be saying, free this person, free this person. They're going to be posting you, you feel me, yeah. free this. And you feel me, every going, people going to look like, who they saying free? Yeah. That's that's more people clicking yeah. onto your channel, you feel me, seeing that you make music and just, yeah. it's just more exposure. But then 
if like if you went there for hella long to where you can't even get that exposure no more, yeah. or like where you're not even able to make yourself known for that exposure, yeah. you're gonna start to lose your fan base. Yeah. And how you said juvenile affected you a lot. Why was that? Uh, I was in juvenile hall hella. Like, literally on probation, hella too. Got off probation probably twice. Like, literally closed my cases twice and got back on just as a juvenile. You feel me? I was in and out of juvenile all throughout high school years and shit. I got kicked out of high school because I went to the juvenile hall. They kicked you out of school because you yeah. went to juvenile hall? Yeah, I went to juvenile hall on campus, though. So, you feel me? I kind of understand, but... Yeah, right when I got out of juvenile hall, I went to school, and you feel me? They told me to get off campus. I'm not allowed back. It was hella shit. Um, can you say what you went to juvenile hall for? Yeah, that I can say because you feel me, case closed and everything. But uh, the first time I went to juvenile hall was for evading arrest and then possession of cells and marijuana. Yeah. Some little petty shit. Yeah. Uh, second time is for some... Uh, for burglary and then uh, possession of pole, unlicensed pole, and all that. And yeah. then um, the third time it was. You went three times? I, I, I went like 10 times, to be honest. Ten? For, that's including violations, though, yeah. for three different. It was like four or three different cases. But yeah, the third time it was uh, felony vandalism and evading arrest again. And then the fourth time it was uh, possession of pole again and then felony vandalism again. That's crazy. Yeah. What what what's going through your head as you <laughs> you going in and out of jail? Are, are you are you thinking like, bro, I gotta chill the fuck out or like just hella me? shit going on? So nah, you like, I was like, at the end of the day, I was just telling myself like, bro, when you eighteen, you do gotta chill out because that's when you feel me, you really gonna start getting time for this shit. Yeah. Like, that juvenile hall shit, you get baby time. It's yeah. daycare, bro. Yeah. Like it's daycare. So at the end of the day, if I'm taking those little two month sit downs for for some. Major shit, then yes, yeah, whatever. But yeah. I was like, once you eighteen, then yeah, you got a cool. Well, how old are you now? I'm only nineteen. For, okay, okay, okay. And as far as is what you have going on right now, do you want to speak on anything, or you you don't want to speak on it? As of what, you, like my case, gun I'm going through right now. You have to turn yourself yeah, so in. I I was supposed to turn myself in uh, on the seventeenth. I ended up getting into an Uber crash. You feel me? Uh, my body was hurting you, off of you, it. You good though? Yeah, okay. yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting. But you yeah. feel me? I'm good, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got into that Uber crash and hired a lawyer, and he, he did his thing. You feel me? He pushed the sentencing back, so, so yeah. you feel me? I could get healthy before I go up in there. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, I'm supposed to go sit down for three months on the 17th, but he said he gonna try and turn it to house arrest, so I might not even have to go in on. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, hopefully, but hopefully, right. that though, that was another possession of Paul and evading arrest. <laughs> Damn. So so uh, okay 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 I got you. I, we don't have to get I- any further <laughs> into <Yeah>. that. <laughs> um, the whole coronavirus situation. How did that affect you? Uh, did it affect you? <laughs> yeah, it affected everybody. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. It affected people from them to losing their jobs, losing their homes. Uh, losing family members to hitting for EDD and cashing out thousands, yeah. like it affected everybody from, like I said, from business people to to uh, to scammers to yeah. to coming up, like yeah. that shit affected everybody. Yeah, did would you take the vaccine? No. Did you <laughs> ever get coronavirus or nah? Nah, nah. That's that's good. I I don't know if I got it. I think it's for sure. <laughs> Damn, there was sick a few times. <laughs> Why you want to take the vaccine though? Um. I mean, I don't know. I'm just not taking... Like, they, they came out with a vaccine for a deadly-ass virus, but they haven't came out with a... Va- I'm not going to say they haven't came out with a vaccine. They're probably just waiting until people rich enough to buy that vaccine. But, you feel me, they got cancer. They got AIDS. You feel me? All these types of different diseases that's uncurable. Yeah. And you're going to sit here and try and give me a free vaccine for, for COVID. Like, yeah. Hell nah. They did come with that shit hella fast. I'm not hella gonna lie. fast. And then they, <laughs> they got people, you feel me, trying to say that it's not FDA approved or something like that. So it's like, I'm not no lab experiment. Like, yeah, I'm people not, is definitely the lab rat. That's why they kind of figured out 
Like they was paying people. They was literally paying people to get the COVID vaccine. For sure. Like, like literally Cali, you, paying people. I think Cali, you get entered in a in like a lottery to get hella money. Man, if you take it. I, I can't remember which state that was. I heard about that too. But you you get entered in a lottery for like two million dollars, and that's it's like, crazy. All, well, all to take a shot. Like all to take it, a shot. It does seem like they doing hella shit to just make people take a shot. Um, you got a records on Apple Music right now. Um, they they all really slap. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, was what? Well, let me see. The record was uh, Straight Bars. It was that was the first oh, record shit. that you put out <laughs> when you came back? Um, from jail. No, you said you had to like you you had dropped the song like three years ago, but then nah, it was it was Keep It On Me that I uh, first released from after all that. Actually, no, it was Speak On Me. Speak On Me. We dropped first... Speak On Me, but we deleted that one too. I forgot. We did delete Speak On Me because uh, the video the video quality was horrible. Yeah. But we're we going to drop that again for sure. Yeah. Um, and then it was uh, Keep It On Me. That's the one that we released after that. I just never touched platforms. Yeah. And then, yeah, Straight Bars after that. Yeah. And Straight Bars was like, it, it went up for you, for sure. Straight Bars went did, did, When you dropped it, did you know it would do that? Hell no. <laughs> I, I, I was like expecting to touch, because you feel me at the time, Keep It On Me had like 2,000 views Yeah. after like three weeks. Yeah. So I was expecting it to most touch like 30,000 within three months. Yeah. Like that's, 10K, that's pushing 10K a month. So yeah. I was hoping that yeah. all of a sudden I'm touching 100,000 a month and it's still damn near touching 100,000 at a month. We had like seven months and it's at like 700,000. Yeah. I um, did not expect that. that. That's hella crazy. And on my own page too, like <laughs> yeah, I I would expect it if it's solely on Thizzler, but like I said I drop everything on my own page. Was so. it important for you to 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 bring your own YouTube like that? And... Yeah, it it was it was hella important to me because I just thought about it like at the end of the day I want my own subscribers. Yeah, I want my own YouTube and my own videos because. Every all those other YouTube channels that post hella music, they're just flooding music out. Like, yeah, you'll see it for a little bit, and then you'll see another, another, uh, another song from somebody else. It's yeah. like, why well, do that when you could have your own yeah. own content, like yeah. your whole own content with all your own fan base? Nah, nah, I, I, I for sure, I, I can, I would say, I would, I could see someone dropping like one or two in the beginning and then doubling back after a while. But if you got your own YouTube, it's kind of like you don't have to. Wait on nobody. You can do your yeah, own yeah. program. You can, like, even with me, like, people, what people, I could drop my interviews on another channel, like, but it, I feel like that would have been hella dumb. It was right. like, I'd rather take the turn to build up my own shit, and now, now it's like, I run my shit. I don't have to answer to nobody. Right. <laughs> now, I, I, I thought that was dope that you that you did that, and um, I want to commend you for that because I think it's hella smart. You feel me? Even if you choose to drop a video on another channel. You still got your own shit at the end of the day, yeah. you feel me? That you can draw traction back to. So I, I think it's smart. Some niggas don't even have their own channel. They just drop all their videos on somebody else's shit all the time. Man. Um, what was it originally that, that made you want to start making music? Uh, oh, yeah, I heard people getting paid from that. I was getting paid from it. Yeah. So I was like, shit, if they getting paid from it, I'm going to get paid from it too. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> uh, if someone never heard your music, what record would you tell them to listen to? Uh, Straight Boys, all types. Do you consider yourself a rapper? No. No? I consider myself somebody who makes music, but not no rapper. Like That rapper got a bad word to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think there's any... Uh, like moment that will make you feel like, oh, all right, I'm a rapper now, or you know, nah, <laughs> I like I'll take the uh, I'm trying to think of what the word called. I don't know, like the benefit, yeah, the benefit. The I'll benefit, take the benefits of yeah. being a rapper, but I'll never consider myself just a rapper. Like, yeah. I'll never just be a rapper. Yeah, yeah, like rappers just rap. Yeah, I'm not that person who just raps about it. Like I live that shit. Like, yeah. I'm not no rapper. Yeah. As far as like uh, being in the studio and working on your lyrics and selecting beats, like what's that like? Uh, at this point, I got I got a whole bunch of producers who send me beats, um, but at, at first it, it was me just searching on YouTube for a beat that I really fuck with. Yeah, beats is where it comes down to at the end of the day. Like for me personally, at least, like if I can't vibe to the beat, I'm not gonna be able to feel me spit something. Like yeah. 
I gotta really vibe to the beat in order to spit some. Yeah. Are there any producers that you rocking with specifically right now? Uh, you feel me? There's a couple on the albums I can name all the time. There's probably a couple that I'm gonna forget to, but uh, produced by Kona. He going crazy right now. You feel yeah. me? He from Sac Two. Shout out, bro. Shout out, Adrian. Got slaps. He on the album. Triple M on the beat on the album. Eli beats on the album. Uh, you feel me? Uh, Brody got bands on the album. Uh, Call me Johnny on the album. You feel me? That's we got a, we got a lot of producers on there. Yeah, I, I rock with that for sure. Um, you got a song, uh, Fuck Fame. Is, is that still how you feel? Yeah, I'm gonna be like <laughs> Fuck Fame. Why me? Fuck Fame though? Cause it's like, it's fame shit don't mean nothing. It just bring in, it bring in a lot of more attention. And when you get attention, you feel me to your songs. That's more money. Yeah. So you feel me. At the end of the day, that fame shit is cool. It's bringing in, it's doing what it's supposed to. But fuck it, like I just want to get rich. Yeah. I don't care about. The you don't fame. care about being the most famous I dude. Don't. And yeah. I like fame is cool, but I feel like if I can't go to like. Costco or some shit, like, I'll kind of be hella, <laughs> I'll for sure be a little upset about for it. <laughs> like, other shit, like, skipping lines and shit like that and getting in the club and shit, I'll, I'll fuck with that, but, like, I'm not trying to be not able to go to the grocery store. Um, you do have a record, uh, a song, Mama, um, and you talk about kind of, like, how you took the opposite route, I guess, or for what, I guess, your parents would have wanted you to do like what wh why did you make that song i was locked up when i made that song i was just true that, that song sound way better without a beat too like i don't know that that song really went crazy um but yes yeah, the one that really meant something to me like i was really locked up in the cell just thinking like damn damn <laughs> yeah you feel me made it in there you you made the song in jail, while you was in jail. Yeah, Kiefer though, not jail, cause you feel me. I uh, only went to jail for a week, but yeah, yeah we was in Kiefer for a while, and that's when we made that one. They got a studio in there, or like? Nah, what? I did not make it like that. But you feel me, like rid it down. Oh, like, okay, you, you rid it, then you yeah. recorded it. I got you. I was like, you, I was like, you had a little studio. <laughs> that, that would be crazy. <laughs> uh, your new single is out, No Pass. Um. Sir. I mean, we we hear what you talk about on there. Do you do you feel that there's no situations that that someone can get a pass in or like? I know you say you ain't giving out no passes. <laughs> it's no passes, man. We're not handing out no passes, man. <laughs> uh, what was the mindset for that record, though? Literally no right pass. there, just no like pass. nobody's getting the pass. You feel me? Like we on we applying pressure to anybody who who want problems. Like yeah, it's no pass at all. Yeah. Do you ever ever have moments where you like fuck rap? Um, not no more. You feel me? I just started this shit too, so you feel me? I'm not yeah. gonna make it seem like I've been through it. Like how like it's been hella long, but yeah. As of right now, nah. Like it's rap shit paying me. Yeah. Like I like it. I'm not yeah. gonna stop this shit. It was it like a? Why did you choose to like be consistent with the singles over instead of like you do got a project coming, but like until then yeah, you have barely the single. Up. Uh. What what was was that on purpose? You just wanted to start off with singles just to get uh, the buzz. Nah, I just me personally, I knew that. And here here a little advice for all you upcoming rappers and who people who want to start rapping and shit. People want to see videos. Yeah. Like people like watching videos. They want to see what's going on in the video to the music. So yeah, that that was my point on it. I was like, if I make a video, that these more people can watch them. Yeah. So that was that. I get you. Nah, that, that that is actually smart. People, people definitely want to see the the visual it's, for sure. If you drop just a cover, and then you drop a video, the video gonna do more numbers for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, as far as the you got the new project main topic. Uh, can you talk about like what can we expect in the project? Expect some hot shit. Yeah. How many songs? <laughs> uh, I think it's about. 13 yeah. or uh, 12 yeah uh four of them was already dropped there's a couple singles uh yeah. like straight bars with this glizzy just all the uh, main ones that's going up right now that's already dropped yeah and then we, we got like eight to nine bangers that y'all haven't heard yet that's coming literally dropping friday any features uh not features no features no all features. you was that, all me was that like a decision by you that you didn't yeah, want that's, no features that, that's another thing too that uh i was gonna speak on uh that kind of going back to my youtube channel like 
all the numbers that I'm doing is myself. Like, yeah. I'm not using nobody else's futures to, to do numbers. Like, yeah. I'm doing that shit myself. Yeah. Do you ever plan on collabing with some people? Or? Yeah, I got... Uh, I got some collabs on the way, you feel me? Me, me and Sloby got some coming. Yeah. Me and Ralphie the Plug got some coming. Uh, yeah. Me and Mac J, you feel me? Yeah. Me and PQ, like I said. Uh, yeah. Ew, I got a, got futures with some people coming. Okay, yeah. Me and AC hard. Throw Two, shout out, bro. You oh, feel that's me? hard. That's yeah. hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, it's, you got some <laughs> shit on the way for sure. So, um, and the project going to be on all platforms. Project going to be on all platforms yep. for sure. Um, we hear the experiences in the music. Um, have you ever taken therapy or any or any uh type of like I guess something to deal with what you've experienced? Nah, you feel me? I, I had to do counseling for uh probation, but that that's about it. Yeah. Um but yeah, I've never been that type of person to to want to talk to somebody about my problems. Yeah, not for you. Um how did you get into the streets? Um that was kind of like I said, was just mom not being there, and then you feel me, dad, dad doing his own thing. You feel me, just knocking it. So yeah. I just did my own thing, just yeah. 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 What 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 was it? It just it just kind of happened. You just like oh fuck, I'm in now. I'm in all these situations. Do you do you ever feel like you wish you didn't get into the streets? Hell no, nah, cause uh, actually no, nah, it was just. I could have been a baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> you played you, you were saucy at baseball? Yeah, for surely. You feel me? Me and all my brothers are raw at sports, and that's that's where I could say, like, all of us could have made it if we didn't fall into the streets. If we really would have went to practice every day and really committed to that shit, yeah. we we could have went somewhere, like scholarships and everything type shit. Like, yeah. we, we was raw. We, we were, we yeah. Do you ever wrong. wish you would would have did that or? I wish all the time I could have made it in baseball. Like they make a hundred hundred million for four years. Like, bro, what? us yeah. a street people. We we dream of that yeah. shit. Like, and that's just to play a sport. Yeah. Like, literally enjoy something you do. Like, people enjoy playing sports. Feel me? A lot of people do get tired of it after a while, but people enjoy playing sports. Like, and you getting paid millions. Yeah. Millions. Nah, for sure. Like Not that for shit. Sure. How you feel about people? Dissing the dead, smoking on so and so. I don't fuck with it. Like, I I I myself slip up sometimes and do it, but I try and you feel me. I keep it to a minimum for sure. Uh, yeah. I don't like that dissing the dead. Yeah. Like, why, why, let, why? Just let the dead rest in peace. You feel me? Yeah. Literally, just let the dead rest in peace. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not for you. Um, what about rappers calling themselves demons? Is that something <laughs> you do? <laughs> uh. I say I wouldn't call myself a demon person. Like, think, I'm not really just ever that. just gonna call myself a demon. I, it wasn't something that I heard. I don't. I don't remember hearing it. I listened to pretty. I thought I listened to every song you had on Apple Music for sure <laughs> today. But I, I remember hearing it too much. Maybe I don't remember. But it's not nah, so. The only thing I said, like as far as demons, I'm pretty sure is that I, I either be around demons or I like I got demon thoughts. Yeah. But I just. Won't ever be able to call myself a demon. Like, yeah. <laughs> somebody I, else could call me that, but I'm yeah. not gonna call myself that. Yeah, no, I feel you. Outside of music, uh, what are you into? Uh, getting money. Yeah. Everything about getting money now. Yeah. yeah. That's literally all I try and do outside of music. Cause you feel me? Even even when I'm in music, that's still making me money. Like. If it's yeah. not making me money, you feel me? I don't want to do it. Don't don't care for it. Yeah. Literally. No, nah, I feel you. <laughs> I'm the same way. <laughs> uh, do you believe in aliens or ghosts? Yeah, I believe in aliens. They just, you guys funny as hell because me and my homies was just talking about aliens and shit. They just announced that shit was real. The FBI just announced that shit. Like, all aliens is real, you feel me? And uh, ghosts, yeah, you feel me? I believe in ghosts, too. Um I'm not gonna say all ghosts are bad. I'm not gonna yeah. say they're all evil, but you yeah. feel me? It's ghosts for sure. You feel me? It's spirits. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I believe in that shit. <laughs> oh, I fuck with that for sure. <laughs> I believe in it too for sure. Uh, how you feel about snitching? I gotta ask you that. Yes, out like a hundred percent out. Even dry snitching is out. Like going on Instagram and explaining what happens out. Like yeah. you feel me? Sitting in the back of the cop car while the cameras is rolling, just explaining what happened is out. Like yeah. 
all that snitching shit is out, bro. There's no need to snitch. Let the police do their job. Like, why do you feel the need to, to just, I don't know, get somebody else in trouble because you not trying to? Like, that shit weird. Like, have you ever been snitched on? No, I, I don't think I've ever been. I'm not gonna say for sure because you feel me. <laughs> it, it's paid informants out there who really just yeah. sneaky little rats. But yeah, not that enough. I don't think I've ever been snitched on like that. All right, that's good at least for sure. Um, if you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh yeah, truthfully, it'd probably be a dolphin. For real. Yeah, because you feel me? I want to be able to explore the ocean. Yeah. Uh, literally, that's... Dolphins go You feel me? I was going to say they swim. You feel me? They, they smart. You feel yeah. me? I was going to say, like, they, they connect to a human. So, you feel me? If they got, like... If they could act like that and as smart as that, then hell yeah. yeah. I'd be a dolphin. Yeah. They could swim underwater. Nah, that shit would be tight for sure. Uh, I think you're the first person to say that. And I feel like that's a... That would be a, a definitely a good animal of choice for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite food? Tacos. <laughs> tacos, man. Like, yo, <laughs> anybody who know me know that I love what tacos. Ta- like, with all types, like pastor, uh, uh, hey, he said pastor. cabeza, what? Uh, uh, yeah, it's either, yeah, you feel me, uh, salad or pastor. Yeah. Or, you feel me, birria too, but. Um, birria, go. That's yeah, my that's shit. It. But, yeah, I like carne asada street tacos the most. You feel For me? real. Do you yeah. eat cabeza? Cause that's I, nah, not like that. Why? Why like, your face go like that? <laughs> yeah, that shit is taste weird. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. At one point in time, I was like addicted to cabeza tacos. Like, yeah. I don't know why. My cousin had put me on because it was a taco spot in, in Oakland we had went to. But when I came when I came back out here, I was on it. Like, <laughs> if they had cabeza, I was gonna try it. But then I started seeing some people don't be having good cabeza. Like, it should be hella fatty and shit. Yeah. But I, I fuck with the tacos. Tough, too. Um, tacos. Would you say that you are your biggest critic? Like, I'm... Are you hard on yourself? Yeah. I'm not gonna... I'm hard as fuck on myself. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just push myself. Which I, I think is the... I feel, I feel like it's good we push ourselves, though, for sure, too. We want our... We want to... We want to push ourselves to the max. Uh, but, I mean... I feel like it's good to have people around you that push you too. Though now I'm yeah. starting to see, I feel like I wasn't really like I wasn't really like that at first. I never was uh, I I never was even asking people for help. I just rather do it all myself because I just hate waiting on people. Right. So that shit. Yeah, uh, I'm the same way. Yeah. How you feel about rap beef? Rap beef. I try and stay out of that shit as much as possible. That shit is hard. Yeah. Like. That that just goes to to me back to saying like people use their name for clout like, but yeah, all that rap beef I I'm do not like to be a part of that. Leave the beef for the streets, you feel yeah. me? That shit don't need to be in no raps. That that goes back to that dry snitching shit too. Like putting your beef in your raps, that's the end of snitching. Yeah. How you feel about when people be like yanking your IG stories or yanking your IG lives. What you mean? You know, you know how I like just talking shit. Now, nowadays, if you post something on your IG story, that shit might get posted on five other pages. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to. I had to, I had to realize that, um, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Like, like people screenshotting your shit. Like, just, just anything you saying, like people yeah. just saving it. Like, yeah. It's weird. Nah, I mean, cause I mean, you was involved in a situation last week, and I all, all the reason I really knew about it was because of the internet. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, which I I think is kind of whack though, because I'm like, even if you took it down from your page, the fact that like it's, it's all over YouTube, already. I'm like, Literally. damn. I'm like, I'm like, you feel me? I just feel like, I feel like it's kind of, I feel like I don't know. I'm not a fan of niggas screenshotting people's live and. And I, I don't know, like I would never do it. Like people yeah. do it. Like it's it's a market for that, I guess. But like, I just think it's kind of weird. Like I feel like if you say something, and you and you might not have a, uh, you might not want it out there. You should be able to take it down and not have to worry <laughs> about fifty people <laughs> putting your shit on YouTube for clout. Like goddamn. Nah, I, I feel like that should be fucked up sometimes. Um, do you think street politics should stop rappers from making music together? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. You feel me? You can't do a song with your apps. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that'd be weird. 
That'd just be weird. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, um, sometimes we, we do see niggas do that, but it'd be like, yeah. they be like, they squash the beef or whatever, but so, yeah, some shit, it just, it's no coming back from. It's no coming back from <laughs> some shit. And people try either way, though. Yeah. Do you, do you, like, look at your comments? Yeah, I look at all that shit. Yeah. I, I see all y'all comments. I see all y'all requesting a DM. I just, I'm not going to take my time out of the day to answer to some, like I said, if it's not about money, it don't yeah. matter to me. Or, yeah. You feel me? If it's not beneficial, it's not going to matter to me. Like, I appreciate everybody who tells me they fuck with my shit, but it's just, thank you. But, yeah, yeah. I'm not just going to text every single person back that. Yeah. Takes me to make them that feel good. That shit is a task. I, 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 t- I was telling the homie earlier, I said, bro, to go through my fucking DMs and all that, I really have to sit down and, and focus <laughs> like on that. Like, I don't really want to put too much energy to that. Um, do you believe when artists get popping, they should move away from their city? Um, It depends. Feel me? Uh, some people get trapped up in their city. Some people good up in their city. Some people want to get away from their city. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like if you in that situation where you feel me, you know that beef on your head and you that beef on your hands, then yeah, get up out of there, bro. Don't be playing around with your life when you popping. Yeah. Like, you got something to look forward to, like. Yeah. Get up out of there, but nah, I I know for a fact that once I get rich, you feel me, I'm. I'm always gonna go back to my city just yeah. just to be around, but I'm not gonna live there for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna be that open target that just walks around the city. Nah, for sure, niggas gotta niggas gotta uh, protect themselves and, and for sure, kind of stay out the way a little bit. Cause I feel like, I mean, we, I mean, we seen Sack shit be getting spunky in Sack for sure. Sack on fire. You feel me? So you just niggas gotta make sure at the end of the day, niggas is. Y'all, y'all like treasure. Like y'all gotta, you gotta, niggas gotta protect. You feel me? You gotta be protected for sure. Um, what would you say inspires you? Shit, <laughs> I don't know. That's hard. It just be like damn near coming to yeah, coming out here to L.A. and just enjoying everything. Like yeah. Once I get big, bro, I'm trying to move out here. This shit beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> like, being being in the being in those tellies, you feel me, where you just sitting hella high up and just watching over everything. That's the inspiration right there. Just yeah. watching over everything. Yeah, I feel you. That shit is a, a good ass feeling yeah, for sure. God, like, <laughs> feel like you're on top you of the on world. Top of the world. <laughs> um, what would you say is the biggest lesson you learned so far since you've been in the music industry? Uh, biggest lesson I learned is just um, you know, watch what you say. Cause it goes back to that like people screen recording this shit. Like what you say is really out there now. Like people really paying attention to what you say. So yeah, yeah. just watch what you say. Nah, for sure. Do you ha- has it ever been like a situation where your know, lyrics have been brought up in court, or is that like something you've had to experience? <sighs> I've experienced so many police pulling up on me and just literally rapping my songs to me and shit, talking about, you doing this, you over there popping for heck, you can long live my brother, but yeah. that shit's just crazy, like, them niggas, they really, they really watching, like, they That's watch crazy. my shit, like, police, <laughs> the police watching my shit. That's crazy, but I mean, shit, they, they got YouTube. They got YouTube just like everybody else. You Man, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Apple literally. Music and all the same <laughs> shit, which is kind of crazy. Like, nah, it's just worse, though, when you feel me. Them, they pull up on you and they have their phone out and they're playing your song. Like, that's, that's weird. Like, yeah, that shit is. That I shit. feel like that's harassment at that point. But nah, for sure. That's that definitely is. harassment. Definitely shouldn't be pulling up, slapping literally, the music, like, going through the videos. Um, for my final question, I want to ask you. What advice would you give to the younger you? Um, I tell myself just literally stick to me, like stop just. I I as a kid I used to try and fit in hella. Yeah. I used to do the most to try and fit in. I just tell myself like just stop caring, just do you. Yeah. Literally, it would have got me hella farther. Yeah. I try fucking with hella people. Like, just for, if I would have just stuck to myself, I would have made it hella farther. Yeah. What do you feel it made you just say fuck it and I'm gonna just be me and do me? 
Yeah, like if I would have done that, like I do that now. But if I would have done that, you feel me, seven years ago, eight yeah. years ago, like when I was really young and really starting to try and fuck with everybody, then I just would have made it a lot farther. But hell of shit. Was what, what what made that change for you? Uh, just people doing grimy stuff, people doing backdoor stuff. Like I wasn't. I seen I seen the weird in people like yeah. Once you show that that uh, different side of you, bro, there's no coming back from that. Like uh, I take that shit into consideration too. Once you do something that I'm not fucking with, you feel me? You gone. Yeah. <laughs> you cut off. Yeah, nah, not real shit for sure. Uh, I seen a video on your IG. It was like it's like the first video on your IG, and you jumped in like, uh, <laughs> was you at the aquarium? <laughs> was that really a Shark Tank? I jumped in the Bass Pro Fish Tank. <laughs> That shit but we, was... we got six hundred dollars off that shit or seven hundred. I can't remember, but it was the easiest money I've ever made. I literally just jumped into the fish tank, got out, went and to collect right my money. Was you? Was it? You were scared a little bit. I was more nervous. Like damn, like somebody gonna try and stop, like hold me, like because I jumped into the fish tank. I like, one of the workers type shit. Yeah. But I wasn't worried. I was like, but if anybody touch me, I'm. Trying. I'm not gonna. I'm when not I seen it, I thought you kicked one of the fish out, but that was your shoe. <laughs> that was <my> <laughs> Hella people thought I, I had a fish coming out. I, I said, that was I said he hilarious. done get the fish out of here. <laughs> that shit was hella funny. Uh, do you have any final uh, words for the people? Nah, just uh, like I said, bro, appreciate you having me come out. Shout nah, out to Innovator, sure. man. Uh, shout out everybody who I mentioned on the album that I got futures coming with, too. And shout out to her, man. Nah, for sure. Lil TYS, uh, dope interview on the way, for sure. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.